Hi. In this video, we'll be continuing with the uh, C Sharp video tutorials. Uh, so, in this video, we'll be going over. Uh, so, we'll be starting loops, files, and random numbers. So, first, we're going to talk about uh, more about list boxes. So, I've I changed the theme here. Something a little better. It's it's getting there. It's it's not the best theme, but it's not. It's, it's okay. A uh, couple colors here. Well, the outside's purple at least, so it changes it a bit. It's called purple. Uh, it's in the custom theme, so you have to connect to the internet to install it. The comments are kind of like plum color. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. Blue and red, mostly white. Uh, some yellowish color. They could have made that yellow an actual yellow color, that would have been better. Uh, it's kind of a bland yellow, like a faded yellow. Would have looked better with just an actual real bright, bright yellow color. Uh, it's not bad, it, it's getting there. I'll see if there's anything better out there. They have Adam 1 Dark, that one's not that great. I don't know why people like that one. It actually looks like like doo doo, if you ask me. Alright, so let's get into some notes here. So we have uh, more about list boxes. Uh, so, list box controls have various methods and properties that you can use in code to manipulate the list box contents or the list box's contents. We talked about uh, list box controls already, which displays a list of items and allows the user to select one or more items from the list. In this chapter, we'll use uh, list box controls to display output. So many of the algos that you have, that you or algorithms that you will see in this chapter generate lists of data and then display those lists in list box controls. I'm not sure if we've actually talked about uh, an actual list data structure. But we'll see what we see what we have here. We'll probably talk about those coming up if we haven't talked about them now. We still have to talk about ar arrays which we haven't really talked about in C sharp. Okay, so uh, recall from chapter four that you add items to a list box controls items property. So those items are displayed in a list box. At assign time, you can use the properties window to add items to the controls items property. You can also write code to add items to a list box control at runtime. So we've already talked about those uh, in the last video. You can check that out. Check that out if you want. It's in the playlist, C Sharp, on my channel. I probably won't provide a link to that. I don't really have time to edit these videos. Uh, but you can just look on my channel in the playlist. Everything's there, C Sharp. Uh, it lists, it'll say list boxes or something. Okay, so this will probably be uh, list box part two then. Uh, so let's see what else we have. So at design time, you can use the properties window to add items to the controls items property. You can also write code that adds items to a list box control at runtime. Which we haven't really done. Uh, so to add an item to a list box control with code, you call the controls items dot add method. Okay, so let's put some notes down here.
comments are like a plum color. Hopefully that can be visible to you guys, but let's see what we have here. So we have list box. It's not bad. It's, it's still visible actually. Okay, it's not too bad. What about in here? Is it, is it visible in there? I thought it was like a plum color. Oh, I think it turns plum after. Okay. Maybe not. It's like a plum pinkish color. It's not too bad. It's, uh, the comments, the color of the comment isn't really that important. But it's okay. So we'll have a list box name. Dot items. Actually, sorry. So uh, let's just say list box. So list box uh, items. Dot add. What happened there? Oops, and he's a comment. Okay, my bad. So start comment. Comment star or backslash star or asterisk and then asterisk star. Okay, so here we'll have so list box. List box uh items dot add method. So this is the general format down here. Uh, so it's uh, well, actually, it's not an example. Uh, so list box name dot items dot add, and then you add an item like that. Just like that, hopefully you guys can see that. It's not that plum color is kind of uh, not that great, but hopefully you guys can see those comments here. I'm going to figure out how I can create a custom uh, theme at some point. I think I did it a long time ago in, uh, what was it? Java, that IDE that they tell you to use, that's terrible. Uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. It's it's really bad. It looks like something from the 90s. Uh, is it called Eclipse? I think it's called Eclipse. It's terrible. It looks like it's from like the 1990, like mid-1990s, even earlier than that. It looks like Windows 95. It's so bad. Uh, like Windows ME even. It's just terrible. I think that's when it was created. They just haven't updated it. Uh, but it looks really bad. But you can create a custom theme in there, and I tried to. Uh, but it's, it still didn't look very good. It looks like uh, if you've ever used the MQL, uh, MQL IDE, it's really... Well, those aren't... Well, those are bad, but I think it was even worse than that. But anyways, I'll try to do a tutorial on how to create your own theme at some point. Uh, but anyways, for this we have listbox.items.add, and then you pass in the item as parameters. And then, you, okay, so then we'll continue with uh, basically just talking about this a little bit more. So listbox name is the name of the listbox control. Uh, item is the value to be added to the item's property. I don't think we really need to discuss it too much. So for example, you could think of, we have, we could uh, assume that we have a list box and then an, an, like a button, an add button. So list, we have a list box on our GUI and an add button. So two controls, a list box and an add button. So list box and a button, we have two controls a list box and a button. Uh, let's say one is, let's just say, okay, we'll assume a list box and button control named uh, whatever, str list box and add button 
we have two controls. The identifiers are str list box and add button. So if we had a method here, like an event handler method. So let's, see, let's go with example one. We could say okay. Uh, private void add button underscore click which take parameter object uh, sender comma event args e open the block for that and we'll say okay well then we want to say str list box can't even see this that well basically str list box here we're going to reference our list box dot its items property dot the add method and we'll say we're going to add uh, just some some kind of strings fruits or whatever and we'll say okay str list box dot items dot add And as your list box dot items dot add, we'll say we'll add uh, whatever some vegetables. Throw some vegetables in there. We'll say okay. As your list box dot items dot add, and we'll add uh, some onions in here. That's pretty much it. So we could just take our. What are we doing here? I hope you guys can see that. That's our event handler, which we'll actually get into coding the those handlers and objects later on. We have we're referencing our list box as to your list box dot items dot add then the string. We just do that continue just to add different strings in the handler. So we're just this is just an example. We're assuming we have an S to your list box control and an add button. So you can add values of other types as well other than strings, of course. So there's another example that we could add numbers. So how do we add numbers? Let's just say okay. So we go with a uh, num list box. We could say okay. If we want to add numbers, and obviously we just take the we'll change str to num because we changed the name. So we'll change the name. You could use a refactor to do that if this was actual code. Uh, I'll try to show you guys how to do that at some point. Uh, we could take out the strings here and just add some numbers, like whatever. Obviously, the uh, string literal will be removed. There's some kind of numbers that are like multiplying by. Ten, I guess, or more than that. Uh, so multiply by ten here, whatever. By ten, and then by hundred. Or so by ten, and then by hundred, and then by hundred. Could have went by a thousand, whatever. Okay, so we have uh, that's that's it. So just to convert uh, from strings to integers, or in this case, integers. Uh, but. Again, we just changed our name to num list box, and instead of strings, we just added numbers without quotes, which would uh, denote them as integers in this in this case. So the items dot count property. So this this is another property on top of uh, the add method. So this is the other properties that we talked about before. Selected item and perhaps something else. We'll have, you'll have to go back and check that out. I forgot which ones we went over. Uh, but pretty much this is another one. Uh, so the items dot dot count property. 
uh, um, assume that this will give you a count of the items in the list box. Uh, but the docs here say that list box controls have an items dot count property, which is just pretty much the same thing. So items dot count property uh, so reports the number of items stored in the list box. So yeah, returns the count basically. So it returns the count of items, elements, whatever. So if the list box is empty, the count is zero, obviously. Uh, so you can assume that an application has a list box named uh, staff list box. So we can just, I'm not going to write the assume statement, but I'll just say here, example two, if a staff list box dot items dot count, so items dot count here, that's what we're referencing, items dot count, this was items dot add, so they're basically methods, uh, so it's a method, pretty much, if staff list box dot items dot count points to zero. You can also use negative one to check that. I think we did that before with selected item. So you can check it in the same way with two different methods that can that can commonly happen in coding. So here we'll have message box dot show. There are no or we could just say that list box is empty. Uh, so the uh, the items dot count property holds an integer value. So the items dot count property holds an integer value. So the items dot count property holds an integer value, obviously. So we could have another example here. Actually, no. Whoops, sorry. We could have a num staff. We could have a num staff variable. Point it to zero. You could just declare it uh, should should be zero automatically if you just declare it like that. So then we'll say uh, we could say okay, well num staff num staff points to staff list box dot items dot count like that. So you can just play around with it like that. You could do different things. You can mix it up, uh, get stuff when you need it, set stuff uh, in different ways. Okay, so there's another method here. <coughs> Excuse me, it's the last and final method I believe we'll discuss uh, with list boxes. So we'll talk about uh, the items dot clear method. Well, you can assume what it's going to do, it's probably going to clear everything in the list box. There probably are more methods that you can find on the docs. These are just the ones, the common ones. So item saw clear method uh, erases all the items in the items property. basically just deletes everything. So you could say a list box name dot items dot clear. So 
So we could go with example three here. We could say, okay, well, we could assume that we have a list box control named employee list, or sorry, not employee, staff list box. Uh, so here we go with staff list box dot items dot clear. That'll basically just erase everything. Clear it, it'll destroy the box, uh, list box items, clear it up, delete it, whatever. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That'll wrap up uh, list box. Uh, so the list box tutorial part two. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If you guys like the video, you can like and subscribe to the channel for more programming and investing tutorials uh, to support the channel. You can support the channel by liking and subscribing if you like the content. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.